Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective, for whoever, whenever, wherever. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day today. We're going to start today with the 174 Healing Fork again. This is really nice and I feel like it'll do us a lot of good. So let's take a deep breath and get started. my hands with the sound bath a little bit there. All right, I'm going to start off by getting a few tarot cards from the Fedor Pavlov deck and it's already, we've already, three just jumped out while we did this. We get the Fool in Reverse, the Eight of Cups, and the Page of, uh, page of Wands in the Reverse. So it's almost like, and then out on the bottom, a eight of coins in the reverse. And this deck is pretty well mixed, upright and upright and reversed. Basically, we're walking away from something that just doesn't seem smart. We might not be like shouting out the news about it. You know what I mean? We might not be receiving news about it. We might not be telling anybody where we're going, right? But we're no longer putting any work into this, to this thing. And two eights, that's pretty powerful. You have a lot of power here. The power is in your hands, right? And it takes a lot of strength to do this. But if we're looking at something and we're like, mm, I'm not going to start something new because it just doesn't seem like the smartest way to go. We're going to follow our heart. Eight of cups, what comes after the eight of cups? The nine of cups, what comes before the seven many options right lots of confusion we decide to walk away from that confusion and that's the point where we actively are right now right moving toward our nine of cups toward our wishes toward our heart's fulfillment right and um page of wands in the reverse right this is the like the good news card the news card the announcement card and it's in the reverse so there is None of that. We're kind of probably keeping it on the down low, right? And it probably has to do with how much effort that we're putting into something. Underneath that was the um, the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this is a no. You're telling it a no. Let's find out. You are choosing to say no, just to be clear. Just to be clear, you are choosing, and not even choosing to say no, just choosing to not accept the options that are available or that are being presented, right? Because that doesn't align with our heart's fulfillment, right? Our emotional fulfillment. We get the, now we have the, nine of, the Knight of Pentacles moving very, very slowly. Let's see who else this is. And then three in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Five of Cups in the reverse. It almost feels like we're moving very slowly toward our goals, toward a solid ground, right? King of Cups, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Swords is almost like, you know those rough waters that the Six of Swords is always, we're always talking about that Six of Swords moves us um, out of troubled waters into calm land, right? It's almost like we, this guy has been coming up. This is a different deck. Keep in mind, I use different decks every day. I shuffle them really well before we begin. And here's this King of Cups in the reverse coming out again. I heard emotionally malignant. Ew. That's what I just heard. And this nine of coins, the emotional malignancy that is disallowant of independence, right? That's codependence through emotional manipulation because the, um, it keeps you in that troubled water. But the one upright card is this guy the knight of pentacles slowly but surely moving through and away just saw four 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 okay to your true stability to your true wants it isn't smart to stay in a situation like this so if you're feeling like it might be foolish to continue 
then you're right. You know, you got a, you got a lot of uh, know-how in there. You've got a lot of good braining um, available to you. I kind of want to... So I have the Ray by Chain cards. And I really, really like this deck. So I think we're going to wind up taking a deep dive here. We're going to take a deep dive. I'll grab a... Um, might grab another tarot and we will examine each of these lines because it does look like you know better and you know where you're going right so let's uh we've established that now that we're on our way let's take a deep dive into ourselves and see what it is that we need to look at in the six lines of the i ching to help us get where it is that we need to go oh my goodness this card is so beautiful look at that you see how we can put it right in the middle of the light oh innocence innocent innocence right at 555 oh the perfection of action through uncontrived and spontaneous nature to love everything equally triumph and survival enrich the spirit and result in the wonder of being oh if you guys know me some of my favorite 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 aspects of humanity are childlike wonder right and daydreaming the wonder of being right the spirit of the self the spiritual warrior i love this so much you guys line six ignorance we didn't know any better that's the fool right line seven recuperation we had to recover from the things that we learned or the injurious result of our ignorance right survival so then we go on this line um living in survival mode because we have recuperated from our ignorance the, or from the you know pains and things that we suffered because we didn't know any better and then when we learned we healed but then we went on survival mode because we had fear and so we had to return to sensibility right line three sensibility and sensibility is being sensible using your senses just feeling your way around but also is it rational does it make sense? Now you're learning to trust yourselves again. We're learning to trust ourselves again. Right? And return to that sensibility. We don't need to live in survival mode all the time. That's what we're moving into. Being sensible. Three, the existentialist. You exist. We exist. I you know, like, I, I do not think, therefore I do not exist. That's not true. Lots of people do not think. And then you're still right here with us on this physical plane, right? So that's a philosophical thought, but obviously not literal. And so we know better now, right? And our existence is dependent on our place in this world and what we're giving to and what we're putting our work and effort into. And we understand that it needs to be solid and that it needs to, we need to take our time as we move through this, right? And then, then we can return to selflessness, then we can return to that point of being able to give because now we are comfortable. I just say 818. Now we are comfortable with ourselves. We know what our limits are. We know what our boundaries are. We don't want to go back into survival mode. We feel ourselves, learned ourselves. Now we know better, right? Through that ignorance, we became wise. And that's when we understand that everyone is going through this, that existentialist, that existential crisis, <laughs> big or small, you know, has put us into a place where we can return to selflessness and return to giving. Because our so we are solid enough in ourselves to not lose ourselves in the giving, right? And that is where we go from the innocence, the spirit of the self, to the true spiritual warrior. Or like apprenticing, right? That eight of sword or eight of cups, uh, eight of pentacles in the reverse, eight of cups, <sighs> moving toward ourself through our innocence and then we had another one come up mm, look at that the clinging fire i'm gonna try to get that one out of this light because it is so beautiful lights lights everywhere <laughs> freedom recognized as an illusion and limitation accepted as a fate emotional awareness lies between hope and pain wow that is 
the synopsis we could just stop right there but i don't want to i want to know what else what these lines say line six enforcement right that like we cannot we have to enforce these things within ourselves i think that's what we're learning right the enforcement of our boundaries the limitless the limitless freedom within our boundaries that we set in place for ourselves not letting other people come into our into our peace right disrupting it number five is irony and of course it is because the irony of the freedom within the limitation right and the limitation within the freedom can sit with that for a minute we'll sit with that for a second because if we dwell on it too much we get to line four which is burnout and i think that that's the point where we all are we're kind of burnt out on this this exterior self or ex i said exterior self right because what we encounter in others is really a reflection of parts and parcel of ourselves and so if we feel that we deserve to be emotionally manipulated or maybe we don't feel confident enough in our own decision-making skills that go back to that first go back to that innocence right that survival that injurious ignorance learning right maybe we thought that somebody had the answers or that they were stronger or they could teach us something and what, what wound up happening was toxic more than healthy 1133 right and so we get burned out on that resignation line three resignation just resign the idea okay that this previous thing was going to heal itself the individual components must come apart and heal themselves individually you are only responsible for you and your component features in a situation okay to resign to that idea and resign to the idea that we are limited right and there is a freedom in that because it releases us of the responsibilities that aren't ours it releases us of the worries of things we can't control it releases us of so many burdens and that is the irony right know your limits pragmatism Line, line two, pragmatism. We have to be pragmatic. We have to go with things in an order, in a line that will make sense. There, go back to that sensibility. Does it make sense to do this? Um, is this something that's going to benefit the future, the future self? Is this going to open up and create possibilities that are going to help it help you grow the situation, move forward, this is going to move you toward your wishes, your desires, your dreams, your healthy self. Okay, be pragmatic. Don't wait for the thing to bother you. If you know it's gonna make a change before it gets to that point. That's pragmatism, taking care of the things that we see ahead before they become a problem, right? And composure, doing it in alignment with self the spiritual warrior is composed right recognition of feelings surrendering to fate hmm. sometimes this is meant to happen to grow us get a couple tea leaf cards and then i'll re get an om for us get some clarity messages that you'd like the collective to know diamond you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift sorry about that sorry about that dogs and kids you will be receiving a precious gift firecracker excitement it's like don't even worry about all of this it's a lesson we're getting out of survival mode right wishbone a wish granted an arrogant or boastful person you should not cross this is that person that we're leaving maybe this isn't why we go back to the beginning that page of wands like no news is good news right <laughs> not saying anything about this is part of that um, limitation and freedom right we want to express things to people sometimes, but those 
people that hurt us or those manipulative actions are meant to have a certain outcome. And there's only so much of us addressing that out that situation or that person um, that then it becomes we have to go to the resignation of that's that's that malignant manipulation emotional manipulation and that it doesn't do us any, they're not going to hear it they're not going to hear it why bother saying anything if anything you are giving that person that action more fuel for emotional manipulation so sometimes we have to move in silence we have to keep things to ourselves we as much as we'd like to express ourselves to that individual it's actually not doing us any good it's actually doing us more harm so we need to just move on right and that stay away from this arrogant boastful person right vase <clears throat> because there's this is a secret admirer there are people out there watching you and there is someone in particular maybe out there watching you who's impressed right and maybe they're learning something from you they're admiring your work they're admiring the way that you move they're admiring the way that you're handling this right and just keep just keep going what it's saying is that your actions yourself your being are admirable and not everybody is going to tell you that again with that page of wands in the reverse someone new is entering your life so when we move forward we make and clear out space we make space for those those new new the, the goodness to come in oh see and someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation look at that Someone is going out, the situation is leaving, but that chair is being filled. It says, young woman, dealings or relationships with a younger woman. That could be you. That could be someone else. I guess it's going to be individual to everyone. And then we have July, which is like that warm summer. So I guess what it's saying, too, is right now we're on that part where we're walking through the road. See the road back there? We're just like... Do, 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 do. And eventually we're going to get to the point around July where we can start to fill those spaces that we've emptied. So right now we're just where we are doing our thing. It's okay to be where you are right now. Don't rush it. The Knight of Pentacles is that card in the upright. And he's slow and steady wins the race. And the, oh, the tree spirits. They're Celtic tree runes. The own fused alphabet. Mm. We got uh, alium, silver, fir, pine, alum, and it's in the reverse. This means something. This is important. And it opened right to that page. So I'll read you the. Um, it's eagle, owl. The great mother in her many forms, the letter A, and it is a shrub. Okay. Um, foresight, higher perspective, inner vision, the self, higher dimensions, unseen realm, clear vision, progress, and insight. It's like that. The Alum Fair represents clear sightedness. She helps us see the big picture. We are encouraged by her to learn from our past mistakes and make new choices based on higher perspective. She asks us to take the longer view. Again, looking forward, the longer view. This guy walked. This tree offers us a spiritual infusion of understanding and brings us insight and expanded awareness. Fur holds the love of the great goddess. She can heal and support us through any situation. The wisdom of this tree encourages us to take the high road and to apply the words and ways of spirit. This tree is especially helpful as we make... The the resolutions of any kind and speak to turning the wheel after the winter solstice. The ohm for this tree is alium and the letter is A. I'm going to read the reverse message now. Because that is how it was presented to us. You are currently unable to see the forest for the trees. You need to get some distance from your situation or the problem. Wow. You may... Um, 
where you will not be able to move towards clarity. Take time away from your problems to gain perspective. Look up toward the light, not down towards the ground. Seek the advice of some sage person in your life. Look to your dreams as well as to synchronicities in your waking life, as these may offer guidance. Spend time looking at the mistakes you made and resolve to learn from those mistakes. Put arrogance aside and be willing to dismantle the misplaced ego. Choose humility. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> um. Remember, it is not all on you to solve the problems of the world. You cannot do it alone. You need community, friends, family, and others devoted to healing. If you are alone in your difficulties and cut off from others, are you willing to reach out and take the risk of receiving help? I am the stately fir or pine. See how I sit on a tall mountain and look out over the beautiful valleys or hills. See how I grow towards the heavens and stand tall. I encourage you to take a look at your life from the top of my branches. Here you can see the past, yes, but you can look ahead to the future. And in the future, you may see many choices. Which one attracts you? Imagine yourself having made the future choice. What are you doing? What do you love? Who are you with? Now look back at yourself at the top of the tree. Allow your future self to speak. What does it have to say to you? Allow the wisdom from your future self to dream you and awaken you. Let your future self inform you as to make new choices and new resolutions in which will move you toward the future places that please you. Thank you, Spirit. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for coming back and seeing me again next time.